Welcome back to Guna Fanzine TV after a hard-fought and well-deserved three-point win at Southampton. I'm with Dan, and we're going to go through the player ratings of the main, sort of the main four guys we reckon that really influenced that game. And I think we'll we'll start at the back with the man of the match from Alan Smith and a player that fought really well was Rob Holding. Yeah, he was my man of the match as well. I gave him a nine. I thought he was just immense at the back. He headed away everything that came into the box. Looked really solid. Um, looked sharp as well. Obviously, he had injury problems, but he didn't look like he was struggling at all. So it's good to see him back and playing well, and hopefully he can string together a decent run of appearances and, and, uh, and get some form together because he's, he's going to have a big role to play in these, these upcoming weeks of the season. Well, one thing I did notice is that whenever we did lose the ball in midfield, Rob Holding was very quick out there to collect the ball and bring it back and sort of you know, really kept, kept our formation going and kept the possession of the ball, which in the first half we did a really good job of was uh, keeping possession. I think yeah. it was quite important in that. Um, but another player that was probably even more important in us keeping possession in defence was uh, Tierney. I think he had a great sort of 90 minutes or sort of 78 minutes he played and I think he, he looked really important for us today. Yeah, um, I gave him a seven and a half. Thought thought he was really good in that kind of left centre back position in in the back three. Um, he's got got a good build. He's really athletic, quite strong, and defends really well. So I think he he can uh, really do well in that position in the future. So it was good to see him perform well this evening. Uh, hopefully he did. It was just cramp when he came off. Looked like it was. So, uh, hopefully it won't be anything long term because yeah, he's gonna he's gonna have a really important role to play like holding for the rest of the season. And um, I think yeah. Just needs to keep getting games and keep playing well to keep his development going. He's still, still what, 22, 23, so he's still got his best years to come. Well, a player who's uh, towards the end of his best years is Granit Xhaka. He's been a very Marmite character at Arsenal. He's had a lot of, a lot of uh, positive games, a lot of very negative games. He's had a lot of uh, talk about him. But today, I think he played a, a fairly important role and he actually didn't lose his head. He kept his cool. He seems to be quite good going back. He seems to be vaguely competent going forwards. Uh, as much as Glenn does love to suggest that Granite only passes backwards, I think he had a good few passes forwards today. But what did you rate Granite today? Um, seven and a half as well. It, I think we missed him quite a lot against Brighton. Um, obviously, a lot of a lot of Arsenal fans aren't particularly big fans of his for for whoever for whatever reason. Um, I think today he was really composed in the middle of the park, especially in the first half, and he helped drive us forward. I think there was a point when he when he got the ball and passed through three people to get us going forward, and we need we need we we need that drive in midfield. And I think he's the player that best offers that at the moment. Um, there's probably better players out there in terms of that kind of quality, but yeah, for now I think he is is probably our, our most influential central midfielder. Well, one thing we're not short of is attacking intent. Uh, in our team at the moment. Obviously, we've got Aubameyang, Lacazette. But today, the story is all about Eddie Nketiah, who had sort of the most ferocious first half I've ever seen. It was just constant. And that's something yeah. you haven't seen in an Arsenal player for a long time. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what rating you gave him today. Um, a seven and a half as well. Obviously, he got the opening goal and he, he worked tirelessly uh, before being taken off um, and replaced. But yeah, I just, I just love his work rate. I mean... You need that in a striker in, in, the, in the modern game. You need someone who's going to work their socks off and chase after every ball. And obviously, that's how the opening goal came about. Um, it's also nice to see an Arsenal youngster coming through and doing well. We've got a lot a lot in the team at the moment. And they're all making an impact in their own way. Obviously, Willock got the second goal. Mm. Uh, and Sack has been, been one of our best players this season. So, it's really good to see, see young English players coming through and, and making an impact. But yeah, Eddie's, Eddie's got such a bright future. And hopefully he can keep battling Lacazette for that starting spot and keep keep getting goals to uh, boost his confidence. Right. Well, uh, normally we would go through the full list in great detail, but we thought we'd give you a bit more of a focused lineup. So uh, I'm just going to list off the players and you're going to shout out what points you gave them. Let's start with okay. the goalkeeper, Martinez. Uh, seven and a half. Uh, Bellerin. Uh, six and a half. Uh, Mustafi. Eight. Uh, Ceballos. Uh, five. Uh, Saka. <laughs> uh, Saka got seven. Uh, Pepe. Four. Not good enough. Mm-hmm. Aubameyang. Uh, seven and a half. And um, for the subs, uh, Joe Willock. Uh, seven. Uh, Kalatinac. Six. Uh, Ainsley Maitland Niles. Oh, you mean Nate Miles? He got a five. And Lacazette. Uh, six. Well, if you want the full reading of all of Dan's and what he had to say, don't forget to check greenerfanzine.com. 
and to check down in the description down below. But before we go, the most important grading of them all, the, the sartorially elegant, perfectly coiffed hairstyle, Mr. Mikhail Arteta. What did you uh, think of his performance today? Um, I'm going to give him an eight for his tactics, and I'll come on to the other rating I'm going to give him in a minute. But I thought tactically he got it spot on. He, he noticed that Southampton had to press really high but leave space behind. So he was happy to, to let them, you know, come on to us and then we can play over the top. We saw that time and time again with the Bamiang and Ketty getting him behind. So I think he got that tactically right in the back as well. Um, to have the extra bodies in there to deal with Southampton's pressing and the fact that they like to get down the channels. He got the game plan on, so a, a for him in terms of his tactics. And he was a 10 out of 10 for his clobber. I thought his uh, clobber was immense today. We've, we're having a bit of discussion, weren't we, in the group chat. And uh, Toby wasn't a fan of the Chinos, but the Armani golf top was uh, was second to none. I'm looking forward to seeing Leif wearing that when he's next in the press box to see how, <laughs> how he can pull off that compared to Arteta. Somehow, I don't think he will, but... Well, that's all from Dan on the player ratings. And don't forget to check our YouTube channel to see the reaction we did with Grumpy Glenn and what he has a view about the game. And of course, don't forget to have a look at our podcast where we go into granular detail and talk about everything. But that's all from us today on Thursday after a uh, nice 2-0 win against Southampton. We'll be back on Sunday, hopefully, with the same result against Sheffield United.